everybody and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to be looking at a dirty worn brass perfect for your followers of corn. So grab a brew, get comfortable, and we'll get cracking. Goodbye. <laughs> So as you can see, I have primed the piece Chaos Black. Here you can see Angron and the brass that I've already completed and what the final effect will look like. So I didn't show this in the footage, but you want to be base coating the piece with Castellax bronze. I forgot to pick it up and uh, show it on screen. But all paints that are used in this tutorial will be listed in the description below. Next we use Runlord's Brass and what I'm going to be doing here is um, putting this on as a layer over the Castellax and mainly keeping it onto the higher points of the uh, brass areas, keeping the Castellax bronze in the deepest recesses. If you thin the Rune Lord Brass with just a little bit of water, you'll be able to sort of get a smoother coat and kind of create a little transition between the two colours. This would be a perfect time to ask you all to subscribe to the channel, like the video and ring the bell. The channel is going amazingly right now and it's amazing to see and thank you for all of the support from all of you. It means a lot. Thank you again. So the next layer is a 50-50 mix of Rune Lord Brass and as you can see Vallejo Model Air Airbrushed Silver, an amazing silver by the way, you really do need to get it. With this mix I'm going to be highlighting, or the first sort of real highlight for the brass, mainly focusing on the highest and sharpest points on the piece.
So next thing you're going to start to shade the brass and here I'm using a Reichland Flesh Shade from Games Workshop. You can use contrast paints for this um, if you want. You can thin them right down to sort of a glaze wash consistency um, and a really good one would be Gulliman Flesh. I'm keeping this to the deepest uh, parts of the um, the shoulder pad, so sort of where the light would be, so where the shadows would be, and sort of in the deepest recesses as well. This is what gives the brass that dirty effect, as well as the next uh, stage. So the next is a deep shade of Rhinox Hide, and as you can see, I'm quite happy that I actually got the label the right way. <laughs> just taking off the excess of my brush, and I'm just going to be glazing that into the deepest recesses. And I'm also going to be doing a small panel line as well into the sort of recesses between the armor joints. I do have to say that I am really enjoying the process of painting Angron. He is a fantastic miniature and a perfect centerpiece for the army. Games Workshop have done an amazing job with him. And Darren Latham, I believe, is the um, one of the main sculptors for it. And he has just done a, such a really good job. So next we're going to edge highlight with Vallejo Model Air Silver. Again, I keep saying this, but this is an amazing silver. So with this edge highlight, I just want to edge light every single edge and the little rivets and the tops of the teeth and also sort of cut some of the edges onto the sort of world symbol in the middle of the teeth. You basically want to use this um, stage to sort of make the brass and the metallic areas um, pop with the edge highlight. So with using Achillean Green, we're going to now start to, gear, to put in the oxidized effect onto the brass. As you can see, I've sort of taken the excess of the brush and I'm kind of glazing this into where I want the oxidization to be. So it will, it will basically sit where you can imagine that the, the water and the moisture um, would sit on top of the the metal areas so it's normally in the deepest areas for the world in the middle I put a big 
quite a thick layer over the top of it and then I clean my brush and I just sort of wipe off leaving the Achillean green in the sort of recesses sea areas around the land masses. If you don't have this contrast paint, you could use a very thin down Stegadon green um, and even a very, very thin layer of Sotek green. So next using Cybernite Green, this has been thinned down so it's incredibly thin and what you want to do is sort of use the capillary action from the brush for the paint to just flow into the deepest areas and around the detail. If you make mistakes, and I do think I've kept it in, you can clean your brush off really quickly and sort of just wipe it away, uh, leaving a little bit of a sort of green stain behind, which looks actually quite realistic. But you just want to work around the miniature now and put this into the sort of deepest areas and where the oxidization would sell. I can't really imagine Angron with pristine, clean brass armor. He is a demon primarch of Khorne and a follower of Khorne, and I can't really imagine him having clean armor.
So here's where I make the mistake I put a little bit too much on. So I clean off the brush and just wipe off the excess and sort of push it into where I need it and it looks great. If you do make one and you um, can get to it quickly enough, it's not really an issue, it just turns into a happy accident. So now for the final part of the effect using Ghostbuster and here I just want to put it into sort of the deepest parts. This is thinned down just like the previous uh, paint and it, this is a little bit more controlled and a little bit more um, placed but you want to be aiming for more of the deepest um, parts. And that's it folks, the perfect dirty brass. And that's the video. Um, this is perfect for not only um, any sort of corn themed miniatures or even blades of corn in Age of Sigma, but you could even use this technique on things like uh, more tribes for your ogres, your gut plates and stuff like that. It's a really, really simple technique and it's really, really quick and easy to do. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like the video, drop a comment um, if you want and subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you also ring that bell so you don't miss out on any other future videos that I'm about to post. So thank you very much, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.